In this video, we are going to see how to send data from Google Sheets to Microsoft Excel. So let's say you're using Google Sheet as an online spreadsheet and you want that every time new data has been added as a new row there. So the same data should be reflected in your Excel sheet. Now this can be done by integrating these two applications and you can automate this process. So how would you do that? By using Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. Now how would you do this yourself? For that let me take you to my screen. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter it will take us to the landing page of the software. Here on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user you can simply sign in. If you are a new user then you have to click on sign up tab and then you would be able to sign up within two minutes and here at the time of account creation you will also get 100 free tasks. Now since I'm an existing user I'm going to sign in. And now it has taken me to the All Apps page. Here, since we are doing this integration using Public Connect, so I'm going to click on Access now. And now we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab Create Workflow. Let's click on this. And here we'll have to name our workflow. So we are doing an integration between Google Sheets and Excel. So I'm going to write Google Sheets to MS Excel Integration. And now let's click on create. So once created, this particular window appears which has got two very important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two concepts or principles on which this entire automation works. Trigger means when this happens an action says do this. Action here basically is the response of trigger. Now since we are integrating Google Sheets with MS Excel, my first application trigger application would be Google Sheets. Let's click on this and now let's click on new or updated spreadsheet row. This is our trigger event. Now we have received this webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with Google Sheets so that Pabli Connect can acquire the information. And now we have to follow these steps. So I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet first. So this is my Google Sheet. The name is new lead data. And then I have the following categories, first name, last name, email and mobile number. Now here, if you have to connect this file with Pabli Connect, you will have to go to extensions and then you can see Pabli Connect webhooks. So if you do not have this, first you will go to add-ons and you will click on get add-ons. So once done, you will search for Pabli Connect webhooks. See, I have already installed it. You can install it. It will not take more than two minutes. Now I'm going to cross this, go to extension once again and go to Pabli Connect webhooks. Here we'll go to initial setup. Let's go to initial setup. As soon as we click on initial setup, you can see that it has selected the sheet and now we have to paste the webhook URL. So once again, we'll go to Pabli Connect. This webhook URL that we have received here, I'm going to copy it, go back to newly data sheet and paste it here. Once done, the trigger column. What is the trigger column? It is the final data column on which the data is added. So this is my sheet and D is my trigger column because this is the final column where my data is added. So it has already captured it. Now I'm going to click on send test. As soon as we have done that, you can see that the test data has been sent successfully. So here you can see that we have received the response. So we have received the first name, then the last name, email address, mobile number. This is the name of the spreadsheet and the sheet name is sheet one. Also remember one thing that when you are doing this, so always remember to ensure that you enable the send on event option. Now since I have received this information, what do I do? I have to choose my next application as MS Excel, as Microsoft Excel. Let's click on this. And now the action event would be, we have received some information, it should be added as a new row. So add row to worksheet will be our action event. Let's click on connect. And here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Microsoft Excel account. So I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Microsoft Excel. 
So here we'll have to pick the account. Let's do that and then provide the access. So I'm going to click on yes. Now the authorization has been successful. Remember that you already should have logged into your Microsoft Excel account. Now here it is asking for the workbook. So this is the Google Sheet contact list that I've already created. And always remember that the header should be exactly same as that in the Google Sheets. So I have got the same header. Now I'm going to choose this file Google Sheet contacts. Since there was only one sheet, it has already been captured here. And now we have to map the data. Mapping the data means the data that we have already received in our previous step, we are going to retrieve it. So I'm going to click on Google Sheets. This is the first name. Then we have the last name. And then we have the email address. And then we have the mobile number. So once mapped, let's click on Save and Send Test Request. So here we have received the API response and uh, next row range has been mentioned here A2 to D2. So I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet and refresh this page to check if we have received the data. So yes, here you can see first name is test, last name is 123 and this is the email address and the mobile number. This basically means that our entire integration process between Google sheets and excel is totally successful now we have to also check it in real time so i'm going to go back to my google sheet and fill in another information so let's say the name is dummy demo and the last name is one two three and then we have the email address dummy demo at pablitudes.com and then we have the mobile number. So we have to check if the same data has been captured by our Excel sheet. So let's go back to our Excel sheet and refresh this page once. So yes, we have received the information here exactly like the way we have fed in our Google sheet. So the name is dummy demo, then the last name is 123 and the email address and mobile number. So this basically means that this integration process is up to the mark. And remember that we do, we do not have to set up this integration again and again. This is just a one-time process. And uh, let's quickly understand what did we do here. This is a very easy two-step integration process where our trigger application was Google Sheets and our trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then our action application was Microsoft Excel and our action event was add row to worksheet. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the same workflow which is given in your video description. You can also clone the same workflow to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any suggestion or advice, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.